Hey guys, it's Coding Tuts, and welcome back to a brand new video. In this fairly short tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make your footer stick to the bottom of the page, even though uh, you don't have enough content to actually fill up your page. So um, here in my current page, I only have a H1 tag and a footer, and I want to make the footer stick to the bottom of the page, even though the content isn't sufficient to fill up the page. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be wrapping everything in the body except the footer in a div and I'm going to name it body wrapper because that's essentially what it is. It's a wrapper of the body and everything that we're no we normally put in the body, we're just going to be putting it in that wrapper. It, it, there's no difference. So I'm going to say div ID body wrapper. And then I'm going to cl close that off uh, right before I um, right before the beginning of the footer. Now I'm going to hit refresh and nothing has changed. So we're going to go to our CSS and the only attribute that we need for the body wrapper is with 100%. Even though this is not 100% necessary, I always uh, prefer to uh, write it just in case. Now, to be fair, this method, I thought of it myself, but I'm pretty sure it's not original as it's really simple to come up with and it's very simple to do. So now what we're going to do is essentially get the height of the whole document and the height of the footer, subtract the two values and set the height of the body wrapper to that value. So we're going to say, um, I'm going to be using jQuery, but you can also um, do it in vanilla JavaScript or any other library that you prefer. So I'm going to say document.ready. So when the page loads, we're going to load, the, uh, we're going to run this function. Now we want to get the height of the whole body. So I'm gonna type in let body height, just the name of our variable, equals body.height. Well, you may think this will work, but it actually won't. So let's alert this to see what the value is. And it's 117 pixels. And obviously the whole document isn't 117 pixels tall. And that's because the body um, height is actually calculated um, by the height of everything that's inside. And we only have these two things inside. So what we want to do is get the document height then instead of height, I'm also going to use outer height because this way we're going to get the margins and the paddings of the document. Next, we want to get the height of our footer. So let footer height equals, and then our footer has an ID of footer as you'd expect. So we're going to select it and then outer height as well, just in case to get all these margins if there are any. Now, we want to calculate the height of our body wrapper. So I'm going to type in let body wrapper height equals body height minus footer height. Now let's hit refresh and we can see that nothing has changed because we need to actually set that height. So I'm going to select, oh, not select. Uh, I'm going to select our body wrapper. I'm going to set its CSS attribute of height to and now instead of using double quotes or single quotes i i recommend you use um i don't know what this is called but it's located on the left of your one key on your keyboard so you're gonna press it and this way we can use variables inside this string um uh and not and we're not um we don't need to append anything to it so we don't need to do something like uh height plus pixels we can write it every we can write everything inside so this is how we do it so um, I'm going to type in body wrapper height and currently we have our variable inside and I can just type in pixels and this will work properly so let's save it and hit refresh and we can see that our footer is exactly on the bottom of the page it's exactly what we wanted to achieve. Now you may be wondering, well, won't this just work in these case uh, in this case scenario? Well, no. And uh, let me prove it to you. So I'm going to copy this a couple of times, and you can see that the footer isn't being pushed down because the height of the body still isn't sufficient enough to fill up the whole document height. 
And what happens if we actually um, overflow it? Well, it acts just as a normal page. So this is why I recommend this way. It's really simple to do. As you can see, it's super fast. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please make sure to subscribe and like to the uh, like this video. Um, if you have any recommendations on what I should record next, please make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.